Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mr. Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles, where we talk about TV shows, movies, and music. So today we're actually going into Marvel, and we're going into the, the Defenders. And I'm debating if I'm going to release all, all of these videos on one go, or do it one day at a time. If you will let me know in the comment section down below on what you prefer, please let me know down below, because I really would appreciate it. And then, um, so today we're doing episode three, and it's called Worst Behavior. So let's jump right in, and we start off with a flashback scene. Then we have, um, Alexandra is literally just eating lunch, and some guy comes up and says they had the black sky slash Electra, and they, um, bring her back to life, which is a super creepy ceremony, like, super duper creepy. And like, she literally pops out of the chamber, well, in case area that she's in, and tries to attack Alexandria. But she easily defeats Electra, like, no problem. And um, they pretty much wiped her, uh, wiped her of her memory. And um, she, they're going up to talking because um, she can't really talk yet because um, apparently when you resurrect someone, they can't talk right for a little bit. So they start uh, talking um, a little bit, and then um, Electra then chooses her weapon, and then they start training. So I'm assuming it's over the base of a few months, because um, the flashback did say like um, like six months ago, or something like that. And so they start training, and she is like a prodigy at this. She starts off kind of slow with like one person, then she builds up to two people, then the three people, then all of a sudden to like seven people. And then her final one, Alexandra says she's ready for the next one. She faces off against like 15 people and she literally kills everybody. I was like, what? So that's kind of crazy. So then, um, then we go back to the present day where Stick and Alexandria talk and he knows that she's dying. She doesn't have much longer left. And um, then Electra comes up and tries to, they're trying to get information where the Iron Fist is, and of course he doesn't know, I don't think, or he refuses to tell, whichever. And so then Electra comes up and he knows it's Electra, and um, they have all these swords around him, you know, trying to like get information and stuff, or to torture him, whichever, basically. And so basically he actually gets a sword from Electra, because she had like two in her hand, literally cuts off his own hand and escapes. I was like, holy shit, that's crazy. I was like, Ugh. And then we have Murdoch who talks to Jessica and saying, like, trying to get information from her, and she's like, shut up and just wears them off and just kind of goes away. And then uh, Cage and Claire talk about. Um, well, Cage talks about how this guy's fist lit up when he got punched in the face, and he has to actually put ice on his cheek, which is kind of funny, because usually he's fine. And um, so then Claire also know who he's talking about, and calls Rand, and they meet up, and um, so they go meet with Rand, and they talk, and then they're doing okay at first, but then we're going to cut to a scene where Jessica talks to the um, Raymond's wife. And she doesn't know anything at all and doesn't really find anything, but she did see the like an award on the shelf, so she goes to check that out. They have Murdoch is following Jessica, but it turns out it's the other way around. And um, he kind of tries to escape from her and does all his little um, parkour type stuff, and she takes pictures of him with, with her camera. And then you have uh, Rand and Cage talking again. It turns out, it looks like they're like. They're building like a friendship, but then um, they start to argue. Then Cage leaves, and then he goes to the prison, the prison to visit the kid. And then the kid got super, super scared when he said the hand. Like really scared. So he said to her, to um, Cage, like, "Hey, can you go to the um, the convenience store and buy some lottery tickets for my mom? She always loves it when I bring her lottery tickets and just tell her I'm sorry." So, um, then we cut to Rand is just meditating, and then he wants to try a different way, and so just going over, um, the low-level 
thugs of the hand. He wants to go to try to uh, go to like the upper people, trying to get to the higher ranking people. There we go. So he goes to, uh, so he calls Ran, it goes to Ran Enterprises, and he gets information. And the information he gets is Midland Circle Financial, which apparently is in charge of, um, it's where the hand is, basically, because, um, what's the guy's name? I literally, it starts with the W. Ward. Yeah, Ward. Um, started doing business with him last year, so that's why he's thinking that that's the hand. So then we have, then we have Jessica talks to the building person and gets the same info. He doesn't really have any information, but then he talks about the, um, the skyscraper and stuff and gets Midland Financial. And then we have, then we cut to Cage talking to the, the kid's mom and the, the mom is such a sweet lady. I really do like that character. She is so sweet and so nice. And then, um, and so as he's putting the scratch offs up on into the top shelf, um, he also sees like a bunch of money wrapped in this little rubber band. Alice has Midland Financial written on the outside of it, of like the paper or whatever. And so he gets Midland as well. And then she gets a phone call and turns out his kid died in the cell at the prison. And the mom is obviously in distraught, and so like, Cage is trying to comfort her and stuff like that. And then, so we cut to uh, Rand goes to Midland Circle, and then Jessica and Murdoch are actually there too. And then, um, basically, what happens first is Rand goes up to the penthouse and basically says, I am the Iron Fist, I'm here to take you down. And Alexandra's like, Is that so? And then we cut to um, Murdoch and Jessica show up, and then they start, they talk a little bit, and then Jessica says, I have evidence of you being a parkour person, and so he destroys the camera. So that evidence is gone. <laughs> and then um, Alexandra literally sticks everyone on Rand. She's like, everyone goes after him, and uh, Rand is like, basically, he's doing a lot better than he was doing, and in Iron Fist, he's actually a little bit more skilled in this, so I really do like that a lot. And I like how, like, he's basically trying to fend almost everyone off, but he's starting to get a little defeated, and then we have Cage shows up and basically, um, knocks out people. <laughs> and then Electra, Electra is up next to take him out. Then all four show up in this epic fight scenes, like, super good fight scenes, like, ridiculously good. And then Rand helps, um, Kate, Rand helps out, um, Murdoch. <laughs> Took me a second, but I got there. I did get there. And he finds out it's actually Elektra, and, but the graphics in this little part are so cool. When Rand goes to help him out, he does the Iron Fist and basically destroys the sword and knocks her back into, through the door. And then they get to the elevator, and that's that. That's the end of the episode. So, I really like the action scenes in this episode. They're really good. I really did like it a lot. Like, all the action scenes are really good, especially the fight scenes. They're awesome. So, I'm going to give this an A-plus episode. It was so good. I do like how things. It's starting to pick up a little bit more pace, so I really do like that. And then, um, I just love everything about this episode, so it was really good. I really did like it. So... I have nothing bad to say about this episode at all so uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like comment down below on what you think do you disagree agree with me I'm very interested in know what y'all think about it and then um, just subscribe for more stuff because I will have more stuff coming up and I'll see y'all next video bye everybody